following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Good. 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 Hey, uh, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Primal Edge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning welcome to living a primal lifestyle where nico and i explore a return to a more balanced natural wild world <laughs> ah, to help recover our health and uh, get back our rights and our freedoms i'm nico dehan and I'm Paige Clark, and it is a beautiful 79 degrees, and we're feeling fine, 79 and feeling fine, but it's freezing in the studio. Yeah, it's 55 in here, I think. <laughs> uh, anyways, if you have questions about our show, please contact me, Paige, at TFNN.com. And Nico at TFNN.com, and we're also taking your phone calls at 877-927-6648. So the subject today, uh, we're going to be What's really talking about wheat? wheat. Yeah, we're really talking about wheat uh, I know uh, my uh, partner in uh, my business uh, performance training and the uh, uh, <coughs> the studio there. I have a uh, beautiful uh, gal there that uh, does my uh, physical therapy work, right. and she's always had lots of food intolerances, and uh, she's had several tests for. Uh, celiac disease and things like that. And now she's going for another test because apparently there's so many darn tests out there. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I know this is a huge problem. Uh, wheat isn't everything, and when you're talking about processed foods like we often do, boy, when you're talking about gluten and wheat and things like that and all these secret little ingredients, it's all in the packaged food. So we always say that's the first thing you need to do is eliminate that. I think you're so right on target there, Nico. And, you know, there's a growing list of diseases that are linked to wheat consumption, and uh, you can find great information at Green Med Info, and today we're going to kind of use a guideline um, from Sayergy, who's the founder of Green Med Info, and he's got, he's had a book out called The Dark Side of Wheat that I guess is going to be made into a movie here. I think so. I yeah. think that'll be great for us to learn, and new perspectives on celiac disease and wheat intolerance. Yeah, let me uh, okay. go open with this statement. The globe-spanning uh, globe presence of wheat and exalted status among secular and sacred institutions alike differentiates this, this food from all others presently enjoyed by humans. Yet the unparalleled rise of wheat as the very catalyst for the emergence of ancient civilization has not occurred with, uh, without a great price. He's really talking about the wheat that was the engine of the civilization's expansion as the necessary food because agriculture really started with the wheat. Yeah, it got exalted as the staff of life and mm -hmm. the body of Christ. So we began to believe that we were led to believe that wheat is this necessary food. And when you're in the mindset of our ancient ancestors and then you go into agriculture, you're talking about people forming large groups to conquer other people, to get territory, to grow more wheat, and that's kind of how it goes. And of course, wheat was exalted by the, uh, by the Romans. Mm -hmm. You know, Romans wanted their wheat, they wanted their bread, they were hooked on it. Mm -hmm. They were addicted. They were addicted to and, it. And uh, we saw the fall of the Roman Empire. Hmm. Yeah. What, how much it also had to do rose with it. the empire and then it, it, it fell it. But it rose it because this is something that you can carry with you and make on the go. Bread is, was the thing that you could carry with you and uh, you could move. And this is how you fed your armies. Even though it's not healthy, you just need to be, you know, what they say is when you become a Marine. You're the, you're the guy we send out there, and we build you into something that can go out there and do that. And that's what we kind of did for the Romans and for all the other, Alexander the Great and the Greeks and everything else like that. So let's I, go I, on. I thought this was something, a study of celiac <coughs> disease, which is the extreme form of wheat uh, you know, issues, uh, may help unlock the mystery of why modern man who dines daily at the table of wheat is the sickest animal yet 
to have arisen on this strange planet of ours. That kind of gave me goosebumps. It's yeah. very, very sad. Uh, it's as if we are the only animal that chooses to eat foods that are not our natural diet. And I was thinking about this the other day when we had the conversation about how people are misled because sugar is so sweet. How could something so sweet be, be so bad good. for be us? Bad, yeah. same, same people thing with have wheat, the yeah. same perception with bread. Come on! But we want to share with you that the bread today we're eating is not anywhere near the bread that even these ancient ancestors were. That it's it's grown sure. differently. It's harvested differently. We're using chemical Roundup at the base of the wheat to make it easier for harvesting, not worrying about what it does to our body. And we just are, the evidence is there that it's damaging our guts. Yeah. And whether you manifest as celiac disease, we believe celiac disease may be uh, kind of the tip of the iceberg but the middle berg and the lower iceberg, the real size, is huge in the amount of people that are suffering uh, poor health as a result of the stress that yeah. this, this like food you, puts on your digestion. Like you said, the, the wheat of yesterday is not the wheat that we have today because we've enhanced it to grow shorter, to make it easier to uh, assimilate, uh, make it easier to uh, manufacture, put into foods. Uh, one of the things, of course, that uh, our ancestors had was no yeast in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so the only way you can make bread in the old days was to let it sit out and let it sour mm -hmm. and do its natural fermenting process. Again, using the bugs to help break it down. Break it down so mm -hmm. it takes that anti-nutrients and these like lectins that are in these products, uh, takes them, most of them out there, not all of them, but it makes it enough that uh, for centuries we were okay on it. You know, mm -hmm. we, we went down in health, but at the same time, we didn't go down as much as we are today because now it's a different animal completely. We've harvested it. Uh, we've sent it into a realm of being easier to process. We made it easier for the farmer. We've made it easier for the people picking it. We've made it easier for many, many different things, but not easier on our health. And our manufacturers today do none of the things that our ancestors did with souring it or letting it ferment. I don't even trust it. when I buy sourdough bread that they really did do it. Are they just putting that on the label, or is it well, really Well, in done? San Francisco, I you know I ate some bread a yeah. little, little bit here and there and uh, didn't have any problems whatsoever, and uh, Ellen didn't either. Well, I'm so going to remind and, you. And the sour bread that we ate here, Ellen had a problem with. I didn't. So mm -hmm. you know we tested it out in two places just for kicks. Well, the point is... Uh, you know, it's flour and water, and if you remember from first grade when you had those art projects, <laughs> sure. flour and water is how we made that rock-hard paper mache. So we have to understand that when we eat these foods, that's what's going on in our digestive system. We're, we're paper macheing our insides. So we're gluing ourselves together. Gluten. We're gluing ourselves mm -hmm. together. You're exactly right. And I want to, before we go a little farther into this, because this is such an important topic, I think we're going to really focus on this today, mm -hmm. is that... Um, you know, for so many people, they again have the uh, thought that, that celiac disease and these things are just a, a toss of the genes. But as we know, our genes do not control our destiny. It's our environment that does. It's epigenetic, meaning epi above the genes. So we're going to take a break here, and we'll be right back, and we'll talk about what's up with wheat. Yeah, the uh, number here is 877-927-6648. Please take time to pick up our new Health Signals newsletter. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Nico and Paige here. We're talking about wheat and what's up with wheat and the dark side of wheat. And even if we exclude the possibility of reversing certain uh, monogenetic uh, diseases, I guess that's what it's pronounced, mono. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, meaning one gene disease, which celiac mm -hmm. isn't, but yeah. we, we're focusing on a lot of them. Yeah, the, the basic lesson side. from uh, the post-genetic uh, uh, era is that we can't blame our DNA. In other words, we know it's in DNA now that we can't bl blame the DNA for causing the disease. Rather, it might be more to do with what we choose to expose our DNA to. It's epigenetic. It's our environment. <clears throat> it's what we eat, what we think, how we move, how we breathe. These are all the things. You are in control of your <clears throat> health. And when people say you know, that nutrition and things don't matter and what we do and lifestyle doesn't matter, that is completely wrong. It is everything, it matters everything. So if you looked at, say, the disease, celiac disease, um, <coughs> maybe we should change the way we look at things. Maybe if we viewed it not as an unhealthy response to a healthy food, <laughs> okay, but as a healthy response to an unhealthy food. You know, the classic uh, celiac disease symptoms like diarrhea will make more sense. Yeah. And uh, diarrhea can be the body's way to reduce the duration or exposure to a toxin. Makes perfect sense. Oh, yeah, it does. Our body's going to vomit. Our body's going to have diarrhea. It's going to say, hey, let's get this stuff out of here. The body intelligent knows what to do. Yeah. You know, and, um, <coughs> and this is the body's way of preventing the absorption and hence the systemic effects of chronic exposure. So I believe we would be better off if, yeah. you know, we, we shifted the focus back to the disease trigger, which is wheat, <coughs> not uh, the crazy response and thinking the body, something's wrong with the body. Yeah, and... Uh it's really uh, something because a lot of people don't aren't symp symptomatic, and uh, one of the statements he's making here is that the people who are symptomatic are e actually the lucky ones, because this is a disease that's kind of hidden and it works slowly over Silently years and years away. and years. Like we say, you're eating bad stuff for 20, 30 years, then the next 30 years after that are going to be pretty bad, and this is kind of what's happening. So you may not have the symptoms like my partner. You may not even show up in some of these tests that people that the doctors are doing so you really have to dig deep and our, our advice really is to just eliminate uh, this from your diet completely right if it's a problematic food it has some indication that can be problematic 
why keep doing it? And there's, there's a lot of things, this and sugar, and this is really what we're trying to do. If we can live a great life and enjoy great food by eliminating these offenders, the, the, the processed sugars, the grains which turn to sugars, <coughs> you, you would be amazed at how much better you feel when you give up these foods. Sometimes, you know, occasionally if you have some, once you've been away from them for a period of time, mm -hmm. you can recover, but your mind will decide that you really don't need these things when you see how much better you yeah. feel. Kind of reminds me of the mindset of uh, our education system is similar to what's happening in our news reporting. Uh, it's more like sports reporting. Mm -hmm. Our uh, teachers pretty much in school systems today, this is kind of the way I see it, is that when you go into class, they have a question. Mm -hmm. the professor gives you the question. Then he gives you the answer and then you explore how you get to the answer. And that's pretty much how it's done. That's how it's done today, and in, in math especially, there's only one answer, and there's only one way to get it, even though there may be other ways. In the education system that I was brought up in Canada, the professor would come in with the question. Mm -hmm. And then he'd say, I'm gonna give you three days to come up with the answers. And then what happens is the students come back, and. We have lots of different answers, but if we have the right answer, we may have lots of different paths to that answer. Mm -hmm. And it's always in history what happens is the people that are on the fringes, that are not like the rest of the people, are the geniuses. They're the ones who are, for maybe centuries, saying, no, no, this is not the way, this is not the way, and then later on we find out, yes, this is the way. The geniuses oh, are the always whole, on the fringe. The, whole story the geniuses about the aren't around. going down that middle path that the government, the education, system, the drug companies, all these people want us to go down. It's better to be on the fringe. I was always on the fringe because I was always out there. Yeah, I'm definitely a fringer yeah, too. Yeah, you're a fringer too, and that's why we do this show. <laughs> right. But you got to realize, folks, that they're leading us down this path of this is the only way. And there is no such thing as the only way. In fact, as we found out through history, the ones that are on the fringes that you say, no, this doesn't sound right. 20 years from now, you're going to say, boy, that person was right. That's because they <laughs> don't want critical thinkers. So we're doing, we practice critical thinking here, and we're encouraging you to practice critical thinking. Exactly. So when we talk about getting back to, say, celiac disease as an example, or perhaps the many variations, the, the, the size of the iceberg that's under the water, the people that have gluten intolerance and sensitivities that they're not even being diagnosed. They don't even know it. They're just, they have excess weight, they have body pains, they have various different diagnoses, you know, but they don't even know they have it. But well, we, we also see this in our pets. You know, the m number one disease ah. for cats and dogs right now is uh, urinary tract, uh, kidney diseases, right. that types of things. And that We're feeding them grain-based food products. Kidney disease is one of the leading things from, uh, from wheat. Mm -hmm. And one of the first symptoms is, and most people don't pay attention to. So if you look at your pets, all these dog foods and cat foods that are dry food, the wheat's in there. Yeah, yeah, you have to kind of usually go to special pet stores to get, you know, pet yeah, foods that are, that are grain free. And most yeah. people that do that find their animals have extraordinary health. So again, let's okay. accept this new fringe thinking that the body's innate intelligence when faced with the consumption of a substance that is inherently toxic is normal. And, we, and this should be the way we do it. It's a sign, it's a sign and a symptom that we're having something that's not designed for our body. And you can really kind of study this more with the protein that's called wheat germ agglutinate, wheat germ agglutinin, and that's the WGA, that's the protein that we believe is causing a lot of the havoc. And mm -hmm. it's, it's classified as a lectin. And remember, we've talked about lectins are found in seeds and grains and so forth. These are, these are anti-nutrients. These are irritants. troublesome for us. They are irritants to our system. Slow-acting irritants that are there constantly uh, year after year to put you into old age and being sick. And, you know, this is known, as you mentioned just briefly, that it's known to cause kidney pathologies such as IgA nephropathy. Uh, Nephro, nephropathy, Welcome which means yeah, nephropathy, <clears throat> which means kidney pathology. Um, so there was an article: Do dietary lectins cause disease? And this allergist David Freed points out that wheat uh, germ agglutinin binds to the capillary walls inside the human kidney and creates all kinds of havoc. So maybe when we see over time, what is one of the biggest diseases of the elderly? 
is kidney dysfunction. I even say that something like 70 to 80 percent of people over 60 years old have a urinary tract infection. Is this, could this yeah. be one of the causes? Yeah. You know, I think so. It says here too, our dependence on wheat is only matched by its uh, it dependence on us. As Europeans have spread across the planet, so has the grain. We have assumed total responsibility for all phases of the wheat life cycle, from fending off its pests to providing its ideal growing conditions to facilitating reproduction and expansions into new territories. We have become so intrinsically interdependent that neither species is sustainable at current population level without this symbolic relationship and this is why the guy on that panel I was talking about in the last show was saying this is the only way you're taking the grains and you take the GMOs together and that's how we're going to live because that's the only way we can sustain our population mm, but it's going to be a sick population it's so maybe be a, sick population. a better way to look at it I think is the way we're looking at it I think so too <coughs> let's take a close look at what's at the end of your forks and we'll be back to talk and if you more. want to take a closer look take a look at my uh, newsletter please <laughs> You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The performance training studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Paige Clark, and I'm with Nico DeHaan, and we're talking about what's up with wheat. And, you know, I think a lot of the problem, Nico, is our preconceived notion that wheat and grains are a whole food and a health food. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, it really has very little to do uh, with when you take time to do a rigorous 
investigation of the facts. And Grains have been heralded since the time immoral as the staff of life, as we talked about earlier, which in fact they are more accurately described as Cain, precariously prop up, propped up a body starved of the nutrient-dense, low-starch vegetables, fruits, seeds, and meats. And they've, you know, these grains supplanted and you know, replaced the foods that we really grew up on. Yeah. And for, like you said, so that populations could expand and uh, it, it really is a starvation food. And so yeah. I guess what you could say is we've all been starving for ages since well, agriculture. No doubt about age. that. And also uh, it creates our large, large population because as hunter and gatherers, you normally have one or two children, three, unheard of usually in, in uh, those type of population. You go to agriculture, now you need farm hands. Your mm -hmm. best farm hands are the ones you grow yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. In a sense. So yeah. the other thing is too, we often talk about uh, having good proteins, and we know uh, from our discoveries that the animal proteins really suit us well as far as our stomach makeup and our whole intestinal tract because of the small intestines being first, and that's what digests that. Hey, the, let me before you get into okay. this, I, I just something yeah, just dawned on me. You know, so many people will say, oh, I'm really trying to clean up my diet. I'm not eating meat and I'm doing this. And, mm. and then you find out they're eating all these grains. Yet, folks, most of the diseases of affluence, or they used to call it consumption in the 1900s, such as diabetes type 2, coronary heart disease, yes, heart disease is tied to sugars and grains, cancer, et cetera, can be linked to the consumption of a grain-based diet, including secondary <coughs> hidden sources of grain consumption, such as grain-fed fish, poultry, meat, and milk products. Products. What we always teach you all is we, if we, the animal products that we eat need to be eating their natural diet, and there is no animal that has a natural diet of grain-based products. Key point there. Well, yeah. Even uh, if you're talking about the uh, the grazing animals, remember, <coughs> excuse me, the seeds of the plant are only there for a week or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the plant, if they were eating the plants at that time, they'd be eating the seeds. They'd be eating the seeds whole. The would come out the back end, would have fertilizer, and the plant would grow. And that's kind of the way it works. Nowhere do you see a cow grinding up the seeds. Or a same. fish going over to the field <clears throat> to get some grain, right? Or soy even. Right, right, right to get so some soybeans. So it's a, it's a big problem. And as I was saying before, pr the proteins that we digest very easily and are very good for us are the ones based in the plant animal life. Uh, there are proteins that we uh, know in green leafy vegetables that are very good for us, but in seeds, not so much. Right. The modern wheat has been grown in such a way that it produces over 22,000 unique proteins. So not only do you have just one protein that might be a problem, now you have about 22,000 ones that are in wheat, and lots of them are problems. Lots and how do you problems. figure out which one is the problem, and you can never take it out because this process keeps going. We're, we keep changing the wheat, we keep changing it for the worse. And as you and, and all you got to do is sort of follow what's going on here. If this is the food that industry is suggesting that we all eat, there's something wrong with that. It's it produces effects that are very profitable for these same industries. Yes. So we need to wake up and not have our eyes wide shut. We need to wake up and realize these are not foods we were designed to eat. And when we vote with our forks and we stop buying these packaged processed foods, we realize that this is a toxin that we were not designed to eat. The world's health will improve, health care costs will go down, will be better, will look better, and these industries and these television commercials of drugs, you know, for all, for all these different diseases, it's really just one disease. We're, we're not getting the foods we need, we're not Right. You know, adapted to eating these foods, they're poisons and they're creating havoc yeah. in our and bodies. Here's kind of why. Nature has kind of uh, engineered in every species a kind of self-defense system against predation, right. against predators. Though not, not are always ob obvious as like a thorn on a rose or horns on a rhino. Plants do not have cell-mediated uh, immunity of higher life forms like ants do or like other species do. It's this for this reason and that seeds of grass family, which are rice, wheat, uh, uh, spelt, uh, rye, they have exceptionally high levels of defenses, glycoproteins known as lectins, which function like invisible thorns. 
Cooking. Invisible thorns. That's right. a great I like analogy. It. Cooking, sprouting, fermentation, and digestions are the traditional ways in which people, for instance, deal with these various anti-nutrients found in, within this family of plants. However, lectins are by design particular resistance to degradation, which through a wide range of pH and temperatures. So even when you cook them, you're probably not going to get rid of them. It's the souring, it's the fermentation that gets rid of most of them. Still not all of them, but it makes us makes it so that we can survive on this food. And not healthy, but the, the we can survive. The problem is that people <clears throat> aren't souring them. They're not soaking them. They're not sprouting them. And although we are sharing this as an information, if you continue to eat these foods, you absolutely really must start learning how to do these things that you know, a couple hundred years ago, people knew this, but we've gotten into this fast food. We have fast food. We have fast solutions. You know, well, we our buy education the system has taken this out of the whole thing, and there's no cooking classes anymore that I know of. I mean, unless you go to chef school, like my professor's daughter did, but and there you can learn that stuff. Well, they may or may not teach it, but and you know, if you go not. if you go to the right kinds <clears throat> of chef uh, schools, I'm sure you can yeah. learn. But food preparation is important. Since most people are not going to take the time to prepare these foods, soak them, ferment them, uh, then I think they're best left alone based on what we're continuing to share. It's just you can, you can survive, not just survive, but thrive by eliminating these offending foods. Yep. Uh, the WGA lectin, which is in weed, is so powerful as an insecticide that biotech firms has used this uh, as a... Uh, combination of DNA uh, technology to genetically engineer these things as pesticides too. So did you just hear what he said? What he just said is that the protein that makes up the wheat, wheat products is so powerful in keeping pests away that they're spraying it as a pesticide. <laughs> Pretty weird. <laughs> Lectins are also sugar binding proteins. Through thousands of years of selectively breeding wheat for increasingly large quantities of protein, this concentration of the WGA lectin has increased proportionately. This no doubt has con uh, contributed to the wheat's global dominance as the world's favored and motto countries offering additional built-in pesticides. The word lectin comes from the same uh, root as the word select to choose. So WGA really is nature's ingenious solution to protecting the wheat plant from, from the entire gamut of its predators. And that's actually us too. Yep. So, you know, uh, it's the, the wheat seed is protected and you know there's another way you can protect inside. yourself folks and pick up some primal edge our daily one shot wonder encourage you to try this product i think you'll find it like most of our listeners is that this is a dynamite product that will help you gain your health back so you can express good genes remember it is in the food it's what you think how you breathe how you move so take some primal edge and we'll see you after the break You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. 
The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. We're talking about the dark side of wheat and what the heck is in wheat. And, you know, we were talking about uh, what's in the seed. And the WGA part of the seed is the most concentrated in the seed of the wheat plant, likely due to the fact that seeds are the babies of these plants, are invested with the entire hope of continuing their species. Protecting the seed against predation is necessarily a first priority. Yeah, it's also a way to spread the plant. For example, if an animal mm -hmm. eats seeds then it's went in the one side it's going to come out the other maybe somewhere down the road so, right. the, so the plant proliferates that's right but let's take a look folks we know that our prehistory this was not part of our diet prior to the ice age this was not a food this was not anything that we ate and since then we've seen a continual degradation in our health and our lifespan we know that um particularly animals in confined feeding operations where they're fed pretty much exclusively grain. They probably never see a grain of gra uh, grass. You know, their life expectancy is, is a mere shadow of what it should be. A beautiful, you know, a cow should live to be 20-so years, grow, you know, grazing yeah. on grass. And although they have stomachs that are a four-chamber stomach designed to break down the cellulose and these anti-nutrients and the seeds, they really thrive on the adult grass. Yes. You know? That's specifically what they're for. And if you ever see those videos on YouTube, and you can Google this, of the cows coming out of the barn in Sweden after the long, hard winter, they let them out. And the cow, I mean, no, the cow is just not gently walking out there. As soon as it touches the grass, it starts jumping around and laying on it and rubbing itself, yeah. saying, my God, this is what I've missed. Mm -hmm. I mean, just imagine that. Well, thank that. God they let them out in there. The sad thing is a lot of the cows in this country never see that. And that's, Yeah, you know, if you're talking about the factory farms, no doubt yeah, about it. They yeah. never see it. The chicken is the same thing. So important, folks, to get your food from sources that are feeding them the right way. Go to your local farmer. Go to your farmer's market. That's where you need to get your food. Even your health food store may be suspect. If you go in your health food store and see all those boxes and everything like that, that's the stuff you don't want to eat, even in the health food store. That's right. Because that's not health food. It's that's not right. even food, really. You're going to feel better. You're going to look better. And your health numbers are going to improve if you just eliminate these. And you'll actually save money. A lot of people say, oh, I can't afford to eat healthy. And as we realize, when you eliminate that center part of your grocery store and the foods that are found there, you find that you're getting uh, foods that fill you up and you feel satisfied. And, and you get out of the money. habit of snacking. You don't snack as much. There's no reason to snack because you're really not hungry. I think and snacking was created by the industries to sell more of those boxed sure. cans. All, all these potato foods. chips and stuff that we used to love, I don't even miss them. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing, folks. Yeah. I mean, I've even cut uh, down severely the nut 
stuff that I was eating, even healthy cashews and pe you know the ones that are raw and organic. I've even quit those because I find out the next day I have a little trouble with my bowels. Mm -hmm. So it does affect that. Uh, and the cleaner I eat, the better everything comes out of me. Mm -hmm. So the better, the cleaner it goes in, the cleaner it goes out. Yeah, yeah. These are all anti-nutrients that create inflammation and problems within our digestive system. And if you think of from your mouth to your anus, it's just one internal skin. It's your skin turned yeah. inside out. It really is. And it's not like you can expect that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like looking at your skin and saying, oh, there's a wrinkle here, there's a brown spot here. Inside, you can't see that stuff. There are some instruments that do that, but uh, that's not recommended either most of the time. So, you know, it's a, a big thing. It says here that each grain of your wheat contains about one microgram uh, uh, in a single ounce slice of white bread. It contains approximately 500 micrograms of the, of wheat, this, of the, of wheat, the wheat germ of gluten, wheat which germ. is the protein that causes yeah. the damage. And if you're looking uh, at a healthier version of bread, the white bread may actually be the healthier because it doesn't have the wheat germ in it and the outside is kind of scraped off and then it's bleached, killing most of the things. So remember back in the 60s when we started eating the whole grain uh, wheat breads uh, that we thought were so uh, better for us, it was, might have been mind over matter that, you know, because yeah, you've, really so you've shared that information about rice, <coughs> meaning instead of brown rice, white rice. Yeah, the, why it, was it, ri the, white the rice? The Asian culture might yeah. have figured out a way to... Why for thousands of years did they have white rice instead of the brown rice that we all of a sudden said, oh, boy, we've got to eat the brown, not the white, because the white has no nutrients. Well, yeah, the it other stuff so has the nutrients, nutrients but, but it has all the bad stuff, too. They have a lot of the anti-nutrients, exactly. and that's what, maybe that was some wisdom there. <laughs> Folks, I think the thing to do is, if you're going to eat these foods, turn back to how they were prepared, the soaking, the sprouting, and the fermenting, and allow, I mean, you can actually, if you really do need, feel that you want to have these foods, you can soak your oats, for example, with a little bit of culture. You know, like the yogurt. Yeah, or what? the apple cider the whey, vinegar. The whey, yeah, the apple cider vinegar. <clears throat> All of these things. Well, vinegar might give your oats a strange taste. Yeah, just a tablespoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah or But what works <clears throat> great is the front leftover from yogurt, you know, yeah. the whey. Yeah. That separates the liquid. No way. That, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all <clears throat> part of helping to create that fermentation, the probiotics in these foods actually. Yeah, and this might be a nice little uh, adventure for you if you decide, okay, I, I'm going to eat the, these things, so let's now go down that rabbit hole and find out. And it's really not a rabbit hole, it's a, a hole of discovery where you go in and you find how ancient cooking was done. Plenty of information on the web about this too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have people out there doing this stuff and finding out that they're getting healthier. I still do believe that it's much easier just to eliminate it because now you're you. eating simply. You know, I think one of the best healing diets is simply the diet that says one thing. And people say, oh, diets are so confusing. The diet is don't eat anything that is a GMO and genetically modified. Well, since the majority of the wheat in our industry is if that way, it, yeah, it really eliminates it. it. Yeah. But if you eliminate grains and GMOs, you're, you give your body a chance to heal. And I promise you, if you give yourself a 30 days, you're going to feel like a different person. And you'll be able to connect the dots that these things are creating, you know, inflammation in your body. And for yeah. some person, it might be not very subtle. And other people, it can be quite Yeah, severe. we have Larry from Cheyenne, Wyoming on, on the phone. So let's get him on here before we uh, close the segment. Yeah. Out. Hi, Larry. How are you doing today? Good, good show. I just want to make a quick comment. You were, sp I just... Uh, took a walk down memory lane. I wouldn't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I, I, I contacted maybe 40 people from high school, college, dental training, and it's a train wreck, man. They're all <laughs> you don't You don't even want, I, I thought I'd call them and say, you know, I, I started declining from my broken neck, and then I got effused, and then I recovered, and it's been forever. They don't even hear you because they all got irritable bowel. They got this, that, the other. Yeah, it's you. You. You are responsible. The wisdom of health is take care of yourself and wow. take responsibility. That is so amazing. It's funny that you said that because I've got my 35-year class reunion this weekend, so it might <laughs> yeah. be interesting. Oh <laughs> be interesting. 
I, I hope a bunch of my friends are watching our show and learning something. Don't you, Larry? <laughs> you know what? I tried to explain to people I could help them. They, they just, it goes over the top of their head. They don't hear you, and they just go back to not listening to you and talking about their whatever. It's, yeah. All reversible. Yeah. Every, almost everything. Yeah. So there's your reunion in a nutshell. Sorry. Hey, thanks, Larry. And you thanks know, a lot. The ones we're waiting for are ourselves to get well. Yeah. Thanks for calling, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Okay, I think. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com Educating Investors. Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. And uh, Larry called in and shared the wisdom of a healthy diet. You know, we want to give you a tips on a, a, a great movie coming out, Secret Ingredients. Yeah, this was uh, sent to me by uh, Alan, mm -hmm. uh, one oh, great. of our faithful Thanks, Alan. listeners. So this is a film by uh, Jeffrey Smith and Andy Hart, uh, a Amy Hart. Secret Ingredients, a film uh, that uh, talks about GMOs and pesticides. It shares stories of families that have healed from chronic diseases by eliminating GMOs and pesticides in their diet. And it really has to be a family affair, folks. You yep. know, a lot of people, when their families embrace making dietary changes and they say these are just going to be foods we don't have in our household, uh, amazing things can happen. So yeah. I think that's a great one. I think you can see this at uh, the, the trade. It's at Secret 
Ingredient, uh, ingredient movie. Movie. Dot com. Maybe and you might we'll probably check play that, that out. next time we're, uh, we have time to do it. This was really good. I saw the trailer. I think it's going to be a really good movie. Uh, it's kind of like the Wheat movie. Uh, you need to re remove things. But what's interesting about this is that they removed these things from their diet, and now they have clinical uh, analysis by scientists afterwards showing the results. Yeah, so not only are, are these people feeling healthy and they feel good and they look good. The doctors and scientists are supporting it with evidence exactly. of, of and, and that how dangerous the, these GMOs are. <clears throat> Speaking of that, yes. remember when I told you um, about the Beamer technology yeah. and that the that the country of Germany mm -hmm. hired a scientist in the field of microcirculation because Germany has to pay for health care mm -hmm. and they realize that microcirculation is the root of it and you know if you have inflammation you don't have good microcirculation. They invented um, they spent like $250 million inventing a microscope that allows you to see into the you capillary. You showed us that last week. Well, I know, I mean, we, I, I know we saw that, but yeah. what I'm trying to say, I, I know I might have mentioned it, but it's worth me mm -hmm. mentioning again, is that this microscope, there's only like one in the world, but now there's going to be you know, a handful more at big research institutions. But what they're saying is it's not just about microcirculation. This technology is going to show us the obvious in-your-face damage that GMOs are doing to ourselves yeah. and it's going to put it when these get to these research institutions like Harvard and Yale and Cord all of a sudden it's going to come out that these GMOs are damaging you know every time we put out an article it's like Bruce Springsteen's song one step forward two steps back when the food you know when those for healthy food or trying to put something out there in the web you get two more articles from the powers that be they who produce these articles that say oh we need GMOs to feed the world that's bunk that's bunk we don't so we've got to go and I think this visual evidence is going to be powerful yeah so I'm excited about that well you know it's it's also leaking down into the population because I have clients I have one client who has uh, young children one is uh, I think 17 and one is uh, 9 or 10 uh -huh. and the children now are saying no to certain foods because of the education that their mother and of course I've trained one of these children to myself so uh -huh. I've hammered it into them and he says no I'm not gonna eat that because that's not it makes sense to me that that it's not that way so when this stuff does ch uh, change your children so you know start informing your children tell them why you're doing these things have them choose their thing and then say why it may be good or why it may not be good get your children involved in this and this is going to help you in the long run to see the wisdom of eliminating certain foods from your diet so you can be healthier Exactly, and that's what we're about, living longer and living stronger, and our true wealth is our health. It certainly is. And and I think that, uh, as we know, so many people end up suffering these degenerative diseases, but they're not connecting the dots that it's what they did for a lifetime. And they had foods, just because the food industry tells you that it's a healthy solution, or whole wheat, or whole this, or whole that, nonsense. Take a look at what we were designed to eat. Let's and get also, back to real food. And take a look at people that are maybe sick or diabetic and see what they're eating. And mm -hmm. that'll give you a good clue. That's really true. Yep. Well, the show went by fast today. We hope yeah. you stay healthy and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks a, a lot, Larry, day. for calling. And uh, we always appreciate people calling in. So thanks a lot. Thank we'll you. see you next time, Have folks. Have a great week. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.